Look, I must congratulate ET CISO uh, working as a platform to bring in best of the technology minds together. This is a wonderful congregation of minds uh, and we are able to understand the, how the cybersecurity landscape is evolving uh, as we speak. So thank you for doing that. So this is a really interesting question and fortunately our cybersecurity journey started uh, 30 years back. And we have seen the products evolve, uh, even the threat landscape evolve over a period. And for the last couple of years, the journey has been unprecedented. We adopted uh, artificial intelligence almost 10 years back. And from that point onwards, we have not looked back. Now, although we see a lot of discussion happening around generative AI with chat GPT and other things, enabling hackers to launch sophisticated uh, attacks do it at very ease one thing is very clear that the legacy protection is not going to help organizations going forward they need to adopt the right solutions in place and fortunately when we look at our portfolio uh, our entire portfolio is uh, backed by very evolved go deep dot ai platform which is uh, the evolved form of ai that we have already been using for so long and we continue to enrich it as we go forward. So thank you for this question. I think cybersecurity is not one function's responsibility. It is everyone's responsibility. And when we look at uh, the reasons for cyber incidents, in 95% cases, the breaches happen due to the human error. Now, humans should not be the weakest link when it comes to cybersecurity. And it is the responsibility of the organizations to build a culture of cyber wellness around employees uh, and not just employees, even extend to their families so that there is an increased awareness about the best practices uh, when it comes to protecting their data, protecting their devices and their identity and privacy. Uh, the moment that gets addressed, a lot of breaches would come down and even the requirement of uh, uh, protection for enterprises uh, would go down drastically, not in terms of uh, uh, the cost, but in terms of the breaches which creep in through the employee uh, route and the human errors which lead to this. If the organizations are focused on building that culture, I'm sure uh, uh, together employees and employers can work together to protect their uh, perimeters uh, with the best of solution available in the market. Because none of the solutions can claim to protect the periphery 100%. So it has to be uh, focused on capacity building. It has to be uh, approached from a culture building perspective around cybersecurity. And that is the only way to uh, ensure 100% protection.